Hey everybody, it's been, I'm back. It's me, James, and I actually brought my friend, I well, was my sister, <laughs> with me today. She's going to actually be the test subject. Somebody had sent me online. They were like, hey, you know, I wonder how long that's going to actually last and what else can it stop? So the last time we did a gas mask view, it was the exact same mask. Um, it's only been exposed to the element for 20, like maybe maybe 20 hours max um, since its whole lifespan. So, um, you know, it's attached to the mask, obviously. But somebody asked me, you know, how long do you think this thing is going to last? Um, on top of it being used, we're going to go off that. So I would say that would put that, hey, don't do this kind of time in between it where it's like, hey, you could last this long, but you should probably change your filter out if you're going to keep using it. We're going to use that for sake of, you know, use that last 20 hours as a sort of, you know, buffer zone. And off to my left, where I'm going to personally experiment with the bleach today and see if you can actually smell bleach. And um, I even have some chlorine tablets that I may try if I have time, but that is not a promise. We are also going to actually use an, an actual aerosol. You know, yesterday I realized that I was, while I did put a scent in the air, I was not, I was only blocking the scents and not the actual aerosol, you know, gas contaminants, the, the you know, the airborne piece. So I brought some Lysol with us, lemon scented, which I had already sprayed in the air today to make sure that it would work. <laughs> And um, needless to say, it did work. It did, it did clean the air, but um, so I do have a, a slight hint of that in the back of my throat, which I will note during the time that I'll be doing this. And um, our test subject, as I said, is going to actually be somebody who has never used the mask and did not build it. So the disclaimer of me saying, "Oh yes, it work. I built it. Does work. Buy mask. No, we have somebody that has not tried it on. So we're going to go ahead and start that on. You want to put the mask on?" And unfortunately, I'm dumb enough to do this, you know, without anything on. So I'm going to exactly be the guy telling you, hey, if you don't have this mask on, it's going to suck. Um, I'm going to try and keep it out of my eyes. I'm going to be looking down. And here we go. So again, before we start spraying, with the mask versus without the mask, um, you're going to see a possibly <laughs> slight difference. Here we go. <clears throat> Is probably gonna get <coughs> onto the um for sake of being able to talk I'm gonna cover my <coughs> oh my god it might get on the lens a little bit but <coughs> somebody down the street like I was telling you in the beginning I forgot his name but I will recommend him and I will tell you about him in the next video um, sent me this Lysol can and asked me you know will it stop this aerosol <coughs> I can smell it through here now and as you can see, <laughs> to the left of me has no to, <clears throat> has nothing going on. So it is stopping against the um aerosol. <coughs> anyway, anyway. Um we're we're looking at about two minutes of exposure time so far and can you even smell anything? A little bit. Just a teeny bit. I do want to note that last time we did this, <coughs> oh my god, the last time we did this, I, I had to dock the mask a little bit to my face, so it may be off this right side where she's actually smelling things, but she did say that she is smelling a little hint, <coughs> and that could be a problem. And add some more. And um, uh, I can taste it. Oh god! But it definitely works. Um, I'm just gonna have her stuff out here for a second. I'm gonna put the mask on so I can finish the video. <laughs> oh god!
Okay, so I'm still going to be coughing a little bit <coughs> from the last time when I was not holding on to things, kind of in my throat still. But uh, I also have family in the house and they're saying they can smell it all the way down the hallway, a good 20 foot hallway. So it's not exactly comfortable in the house now, but for the sake of this test, everybody knew about it and I, I gave them actual gas masks and they chose not to wear them. And this is what they get. So I'm going to go ahead and add some more. As you can see, I put a lot of aerosol into the into the actual atmosphere here. I like I said, I dogged it to my face. I'm not smelling anything now, except for what's in the back of my throat. Um, I will say that it is a little hard to breathe through this, but that was that was because I put a lot of that extra stuff in the bottom, and honestly. This stuff, I can, I can smell it out there when I walk out with no mask. So I'm kind of scared to pull, <laughs> pull this off, but I will at some point. It's been about seven minutes. And um, like I said, I promised I'd put the whole aerosol can in. So we're just going to keep adding to the atmosphere and see what's up. I can probably say that this is now the most disinfected part of my house. <clears throat> but again, I'm not smelling anything. I got a little bit of a list in my throat from when I was standing in here earlier. <clears throat> um, I'm probably going to go to another location to try the bleach because I don't want something to happen. You know, that's not safe, but um, this can's got a little more left in it. I'm going to go ahead and spray some more for the sake of being honest and saying I'm going to put the whole thing in the air. There's a lot at the bottom that you can't even tell us in there, but it's definitely, there's definitely some can left in here. I guess that's it. That's all of it. So I'm sitting in here now with one pound or 19 ounces worth of stuff in the air. And I am not looking forward to taking this mask off. Because generally, now that I've, I've sealed everything up with the same stuff I used yesterday, nothing new, I cannot smell a thing. And here I go. I'm gonna, take, I'm gonna force myself to take this mask off. Ah, here we go. <coughs> Oh, it's still no way. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, 
Oh god! Oh my god! <coughs> oh! <laughs> I had to run outside. I had to run outside. That was a little worse than I thought it would be. <coughs> I got my boots on and some shorts. Like pretty funny. Oh my gosh! Go ahead and zoom that back. Sorry about that, guys. But um, the gas mask works. Um, you know, I do a little bit of doctoring on the sides. <coughs> but um, it most definitely works. Um, only thing I would say, <coughs> still in my throat. The only thing I would say is um, you know, it's gonna fog up pretty quickly. So if you plan on looking at things, um. You know, get it done quickly and look at it, you know, fairly quickly. Um, again, I will I will give a shout out to the person down the street that handed me the, the aerosol can. Um, definitely, definitely appreciate him. And I will send, like I said, I'll recommend him in the next video. I do believe he's also a YouTuber. But um, for the next test, I'm going to do that on a separate video for the sake of time. And from there, we're going to try and see if it will stand up to bleaches.